What's going on everybody, it's Joel here and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Innovate G-Power 380. All right guys, so if this video looks and sounds a little bit different, it's because I'm recording it on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. And the reason I'm doing that is because I wanna test out the sound and video quality to see if it's something that I can use to make videos a little bit quicker. I have not been the best about putting my content out in a timely fashion lately. Um, so this is a way for me to easily get content out, hopefully, if the video sound quality are up to par. Uh, so you guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think about how the way that this video looks and what the audio sounds like. I could probably easily get you know, a microphone, like I can just use my AirPods or something like that. Um, but yeah, just let me know. Uh, and that's kind of like the, the genesis of today's video. I was doing my workout and I thought to myself, hey, I might as well just uh, go and put out a review uh, because I was using the Innovate G Power 380s and I've had these shoes for probably about four months now, maybe even five months. Uh, so I've been using them quite a bit and I think that of all of Innovate's weightlifting shoes, these are easily the best ones, um, but they're still a niche weightlifting shoe. So they've never really been taken all that seriously as far as like weightlifting goes, um, or I mean, as far as my perception goes, because I don't really see that many weightlifters ever using Innovate shoes. And that, I think the reason for that is because they've always had a 16 millimeter uh, offset so that's like 0.6 inches. It's a very low heel weightlifting shoe. I mean, that's uh, very similar to like the or the Adidas Powerlifts, which typically have been picked up from powerlifters, um, but really no one else. Uh, the Innovates have always had that stigma of being like a CrossFit weightlifting shoe. And while I don't think they're shaking that anytime soon, they still, in my opinion, still have that stigma. Uh, the G Power 380s are probably the closest to a real old issue that they've ever had or they've ever made. And that's mainly because the offset on this shoe or the heel height is going to be 22 millimeters, which is higher than pretty much any other weightlifting shoe out there. Uh, but with that, let's talk about the construction of this shoe, which has an interesting construction because of how light the upper feels and how flexible the shoe is. So the upper is a nylon kind of material. It's like a nylon ripstop material, but instead of like the squares, it's all these hexagons kind of continuing in that uh, graphene uh, fashion, I guess. Uh, it does only have a single strap on the shoe. And the strap on this is, it's a little cheap feeling. Uh, it looks cool, it has a cool design to it. But like the actual strap is a little like crumply. Uh, it just doesn't really have that impression quality. And then the O-ring on it is made out of plastic, which I don't really like. I don't think that it's gonna break anytime soon or rip anytime soon, but it just feels a little bit cheap. Uh, the upper though, and the construction of the shoe does not feel cheap. The shoe does not feel flimsy. It is flexible, but it does not feel flimsy. Uh, the ankle collar has some cushioning, but I will say that the ankle score in the shoe is not all that great and can feel a little bit loose at times. Uh, there is no heel slip for me personally, uh, but I'll talk about that when it comes down to like when we talk about fit. The heel on the shoe is made out of TPU. So in the past with Innovate weightlifting shoes, they've always had a TPU heel and then they have like little openings where you can see through it and then there's internal bracing, like little pylons throughout the heel. And I think that's the same case with the G Power 380, except the holes are now filled with some kind of foam material. And while I still think there's bracing internally, uh, you just can't see through the shoe anymore. So they've had it in the past where all of these like um, little hexagons are like little pylons. So I actually don't think that those on this shoe are where the bracing is, but there's for sure gonna be something solid in there. Um, so the heel on the shoe is a little bit flexible compared to you know flagship weightlifting shoes. And it's not that you're gonna be able to compress these shoes, like if you push down on them, 
Um, you're not going to compress that TPU heel, but torsionally, there is a little bit of flex and you're going to notice that once you hit like a landing on an Olympic weightlifting movement and it's, you know, you're, it's not the perfect landing. You're going to see, you're going to find that these shoes want to flex uh, side to side a little bit more than your typical flagship weightlifting shoe. Uh, the outsole on the shoe is made out of rubber infused with graphene. And like all of Innovate's graphene-infused shoes, you do need to break in that outsole because when you first get it, it's not that grippy. But as you wear it and wear it down a little bit more, it does become better over time. There's really no lug depth on these shoes because they are Olympic weightlifting shoes and that's gonna be prim primarily flat. There's some Metaflex grooves at the forefoot, like typical Innovate fashion. Uh, but then, like once again, there's not a whole lot of lug depth there. And there's a slight toe bumper here as well. Uh, there is a little bit of a toe spring. It's not terrible, uh, but it is definitely more than I would like for an Olympic weightlifting shoe. Uh, it'll definitely help you out for CrossFit workouts if you wanted to do CrossFit workouts in these shoes. Uh, but that's not what I use them for. I, I mainly only just use these for Olympic weightlifting and squatting. The insole on these shoes is actually really nice. It's comfortable, it's padded, it's perforated, it breathes well, and it doesn't, hasn't really compressed or gotten beat, too beat up over like the last five months. So it's holding its shape very, very well. The forefoot on this shoe is honestly, it's like right next to the ground. There's almost nothing there. There's obviously no midsole on this shoe. And the forefoot, I'd say, as far as like the rubber goes, is maybe three millimeters. It's very, very low. And you get a good sense of the ground feel in this shoe. Like I said before, that the heel height is 22 millimeters on this shoe. So that's a little bit over 0.8 inches. So higher than like the Romaleos, higher than Legacies by one millimeter and then it's the same as the Adidas Addy Power 3s. And what I will say with the heel on the shoe is that you really do feel it at the very, very back of the shoe and then it slopes down pretty aggressively. There's not a whole lot of like elevation in the midfoot of the shoe and then at the forefoot you're like right next to the ground. So some people are going to like that. It's a definitely a different feeling with the weightlifting shoe where some or most of the weightlifting shoes would gradually slow down, kind of uh, contain the midfoot a little bit more, and then by the forefoot. Actually, even in normal Olympic weightlifting shoes, there's still a pretty good amount of forefoot on them. And something that is also not super desirable for weightlifting shoes, uh, but it's always been an innovate thing, is the fact that these are very, very light. Uh, the 380 is typically what they are in, in grams. Um, so the men's size 10 that I have, I measured in at 14.1 ounces and I think that was like 401 grams. Um, so pretty close to the actual number that is stated in the name. Okay, so when it comes to sizing your G Power 380s, I'm gonna recommend that you go with your normal training or running shoe size. These fit to the size for me and they surprisingly have a really wide toe box. It doesn't look like it, but there's a ton of space in there. Uh, I thought that these were probably the widest shoes for Olympic weightlifting that I've tried in a long, long time. And that includes going up against the upcoming tier weightlifting shoes, which I think that these are actually wider than. Uh, the length for me is spot on in a size 10, which is my normal training shoe size. That's what I almost always get my shoes in. Uh, and unlike the uh, 370s or something, like those ran a little bit big or a little bit longer, these run very, very true to size. And there's really no arch or anything in these shoes. So if you had an issue like with other, like the Legacy 2s, which have a noticeably uh, narrow midfoot, that's not an, an issue with the G Power 380s. I think that these fit very wide from the toe box to the midfoot. And even at the heel, they probably fit a little bit wide because it's a little bit loose around the ankle collar. Like I said, I didn't get any heel sip in these shoes, but if you did, there's the option to lace lock these as well. So that might be the fix for your heel slip. Um, but for me personally, it was not an issue. 
Okay, so flexibility is not typically a trait that you're looking for in weightlifting shoes, but it's always been one of the things that Innovate has coined in their weightlifting shoes. And these are no different. They're very, very flexible and very comfortable. Like you put these on and you'll feel like you could go running in them. They're that flexible and they're, uh, they're not super comfortable. There's no cushioning or anything like that. But you know, if you were looking for a weightlifting shoe to do a wad in, as well as do your Olean, I think there is really no other option than the G-Power 380s or Innovate's just weightlifting shoes in general. They're very flexible. Uh, you could definitely do a more lifting-based wad. I mean, if you had burpees or double unders, you probably wouldn't have too much of an issue, uh, but these are the most flexible weightlifting shoes on the market. So, I mean, it might be a good thing for you if you're looking for that, but if you were looking for a really just dead solid weightlifting shoe, stability-wise, uh, the G Power 380 is not gonna be the one for you. I will, however, say that the stability of the shoes is not bad. Like, if you're used to training in normal trainers, like me personally, I almost always do my Oli and my powerlifting movements in normal training shoes, so I actually, like lifting in the G Power 380s. I don't think they are going to make the world stage at the Olympics. I don't think anybody's gonna be wearing them at that level, but I think for the majority of people out there and actually people that don't want to have to rely on weightlifting shoes to do the lifting, uh, I think that these might be kind of like a good in-betweener option. Power delivery on these and responsiveness is Excellent because the forefoot is so close to the ground. It feels like you know the moment that you jump you get that instant response And I think Olympic weightlifting actually feels really really nice in these shoes. You do get that mechanical Advantage from the 22 millimeter heel uh, Like I said, it was a little bit further back than I like but you know some people are gonna really benefit from that me personally I think it could kind of cradle the midfoot a little bit more, but if all you wanted was an elevated heel, these shoes are gonna have it for you. So when it comes to the slow lifts, I think these are actually going to be pretty good. Like if you never had to worry about uh, a, a weird landing or anything like that, like with a snatch or a clean and jerk, then these shoes should be actually pretty good for you, where all you had to worry about was if the heel compressed or not if they had good power delivery or not. So if you're just squatting, front squat, back squat, I think that these would actually be a really, really good option for you. So if you're like a power lifter and you're looking for something that has good ground feel, has an elevated heel, I think that these actually might be another good option for you uh, other than you CrossFitters out there that are looking for more of a lighter wad-based lifting shoe. Okay, so these things cost $210, so I think they are a little bit more than the previous Innovate lifters were. And to be honest with you, I don't think that's a good price point to have these things at. Uh, they, in my opinion, should not cost more than your flagships like Rome Leos or Legacy 2s because those already have the name and people are just going to gravitate to those because they have the name and they are also cheaper. I think if these were priced somewhere around $180, they might get a little bit more love, but they still kind of are like a CrossFit weightlifting shoe. Uh, you know, from what I've seen out there, you know, real Oli lifters don't care for that flexibility. They don't want that toe spring angle. Um, and the stigma that Innovate has always had with their weightlifting shoes is still kind of there, it's not going away. And even though these do have a 22 millimeter effective heel height, I don't think that that is good enough to take people from the Romaleo or Legacy camp. Uh, I, I think that these are still gonna remain a very niche weightlifting shoe. And if you were looking for like something that was very responsive, pretty low to the ground, had that elevated heel, was actually really flexible, something that you could do a wad in, I think that these are going to be the only good option for you. These are the best option. I think that these are excellent weightlifting shoes, but 
It, it really depends on who you are and what you're looking for. I really like them because they remind me of like lifting and training shoes, but they have a little bit more stability at the heel. But I can see why a dedicated weightlifter wouldn't really like these because they're not that stable. They're not as stable as the Romolinos and Lexis, and they also cost more. Um, so if they can bring these down in price. I think they have a better shot at pulling people from some of the other flagship weightlifting shoes. But as they are, they're still kind of a niche weightlifting shoe and you have to kind of want what this shoe provides you. And, but luckily, the, you know, like really Innovate is the only person that's doing a weightlifting shoe like this. So anyways, if you guys have any questions about the Innovate G Power 380s, feel free to leave them in the comments section. Don't forget to leave comments about what you think about the video and sound quality in the comment section as well. Let me know uh, and uh, I'll try to fix some of that stuff in the future. Uh, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching.